Hello Year 9s, it's Miss Linders here. I'm the Head of Health and Social Care at Clapton Girls Academy and I'm just going to talk you through some of the key points about the Health and Social Care course in Year 10 and 11. Now the course is called uh, the BTEC Level 2 Technical Award in Health and Social Care and I'll go through some of the information on that now. So the qualification content, it's equivalent to a GCSE and it's taught over a two year programme, so from year 10 and year 11. You will have the opportunity to learn about both healthcare and social care services and the jobs involved in those, in those different settings and looking at how you work with people with service users in those settings. You'll delve into the changes that happen during a life, lifetime. We look at life stages in the first unit and you gain an understanding about the impact of life events such as starting school or divorce, um, getting a job, bereavement, lots of different life events. There are three units that you do. They are three compulsory units. These are component or unit one on human lifespan development. That's a coursework unit. Component unit two, service and values in health and social care. You do that in, un in year 10 as well. That is a coursework unit and you do a practical assessment of a role play. And the third and final unit you do in year 11 is an exam on health and well-being. And it, it, it's what's called a synoptic unit. So it uses information you've learned from unit one and two. And you would do an exam in the February um, and with a reset opportunity in the May. So looking at what is health and social care. So health care is anything to do with staying healthy, remaining without infection or disease. And that's roles such as nurses, midwives and um, physiotherapists, lots of things, roles like that. Social care is looking at activities, services and relationships that help people to be independent, active and healthy. So these are roles like social work, youth workers and probation officers, those kinds of roles. So what would happen after level two? So if you did the level two, where, what's next with that? You could stay um, at, at Clapton Girls Academy and do the level three um, in health and social care, which is equivalent to three A levels. Um, you may not know at the, at the moment what you want to do, but you might discover this through studying the course. Now, there, some of the level three students go on to jobs such as nursing, social work, teaching, public health, therapist, residential care work or looking at allied health professionals, so dietitians, speech and language therapists, paramedic, art therapist, occupational therapist. This is just a, a short um, example of them. There's so many different roles that you can go into after health and social care. So a bit about me, how I got into this role. I um, worked within youth work for many years before I got into teaching health and social care. I worked for a youth offending team, actually Hackney Youth Offending Team. I worked with children in care in a children's home in Hackney. And I was also an advocate for young people in care. So for, for uh, helped to make sure that young people in care had their, their rights met and their wishes and feelings heard. So I love this subject. I think it opens up so many opportunities and there's lots of different roles that you can do from, from this subject. So you need to have a think about, is this for you? Are you? Do you want to work in a caring environment? Do you want to work with people? Do you want to help people? Do you have lots of empathy? If you do, and if you answer yes to all of these questions, then this is, of course is for you. And we really look forward to welcoming you onto the health and social care course and having you as part of our health and social care family. If you have any questions, you can um, you, you can contact me or when we return to school, you can uh, um, ask me those questions and hopefully we will see you in our health and social care classes in year 10. Thank you.